Shot channel. Before we get started, I'd just like to thank all my new subscribers. It really means a lot to me knowing that there's people out there that find my videos interesting enough to subscribe to me. So thank you very much. Recently, my first few videos all have very high ratings. And personally, myself, I like to keep it that way. Uh, I get very bored making the same foods over and over and over again. So this is kind of a way for me to experiment to see if there's other things out there that are simple, easy, and taste good to make. Um, so, with that being said, let's move on to today's recipe. Today, we're going to be making a French bread egg boat sandwich. I'm going to take the French bread, I'm going to cut out the middle, and then put your ingredients in there. Um, you can use anything that you really want. I'm going to be using, obviously, eggs, uh, pepperoni, mushrooms, jalapenos, and cheese. Um, so, let's go take a look at the ingredients. So here are the ingredients. We got our French bread. I'm going to use adobo and salt for the seasoning. We got six eggs, half and half, mozzarella cheese, parmesan cheese, my jalapenos, my pepperonis, and last, my mushrooms. All right, let's get these eggs cracking. Crackety crack, crack, crack. On guard. Stir it up a little bit. Stir and stir and stir and stir. And stir. Again, like I said in the past, I am no culinary expert, so I just mash the eggs up. Mash it, mash it. Add the seasonings. All right, so now that we have finished stirring the seasonings in, now we're gonna add the half and half. For this, we're gonna take one fourth cup, half and half. Add that into it. Stir that up a little bit. Looks perfect. Now we're going to add the ingredients. Some jalapenos. Because we like spicy here in this house. Some pepperoni. I'm going to rip these pepperonis. Get some aggression out. We don't want them that big anyway. Okay. Some mushrooms. Throw them in there. Just dump kapow! Last, we add some cheese. For stir. All right. This concoction is ready to go. Our next step is to cut the bread. Or as the Joker says, let's put a smile on your face. So you're going to cut the center in a V. One side. second side. And then we're going to dig out the middle. So once you dig out the middle, now we're going to put our topping in the middle as well. On 
and spread it out a little bit. Now we're going to add the Parmesan cheese. Sprinkle a little bit on the top. Wunderbar! Okay, so once you added all the ingredients, we're going to set the oven to 350. We're going to take parchment paper, put it on a pan, and then transport our French bread onto the pan, like such. Let's pop it in the oven. So, the bread's in the oven. We're going to wait 25 minutes. Once that's done, we're going to give it a shot and see how it tastes. See if it meets those high standards that we've had so far. Or is it going to crash into the bottom rankings? Voila! There we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Time to take the taste test. It looks really good. It smells really good. But will it taste really good? Let's find out. So those of you who are new to this channel, at the end of these videos, I rate them from 1 to 10. 10 being, I would definitely give it a shot again. 1 being, there's no way I'm going to make that again. Uh-uh, not going to happen. If I had to rate this, I'm sad to say that our streak has come to an end because I give this a four. The amount of time it takes to prep, to wait for the oven to get done, and for it to taste like this, this is not going to be one of the dishes that I make again. This can go in to the trash. To the trash. Thanks for tuning in though. Hopefully next week we get back on track into the positive side. Please remember to hit the subscribe button. Check out my other videos if you haven't seen those yet. And I would like to see you guys again on Give It A Shot!